Hey pilots, Bounty here from Bounty Gaming and today we're going to be checking out my R101 loadout that I've been using so far as part of the new update in Titanfall 2. Generally I am a sniper pilot so it is quite different for me to be using assault rifles and it has taken quite a while for me to finally get a loadout and feel comfortable using the R101. I did struggle at the start and was coming last in most games and I just really wasn't aiming down the sight. And with this type of weapon, as you can see in my previous video where we look at the spray patterns, you definitely need to be aiming down the sight if you want to be effective using the R101 against other pilots. So guys, for the loadout, of course we're using the R101 assault rifle. The attachments we have is speed reloader and the HCOG sight. I really don't like the original sight that comes with it, the ACOG, I find it's, it's quite challenging. But not only challenging, it just doesn't work for me because it blocks out a lot of my screen and I like to always be looking around for opportunities like that one where you can just boot a pilot in the head and carry on. So guys, we're also using ant weapons. Basically, this gives you one less bullet that you need in order to get a kill. So it's going to help us work towards our titan and really farm up those pilot kills, just like that one there. We're also using arc grenades. They're my trusty go-to. In addition to arc grenades, I have been playing around with Gravity Star, and I found it was equally, equally as fun, equally as sort of powerful within the game, and it really helped suck in a few pilots and get a few easy kills. A lot of pilots, when they get Gravity Star, they just sort of sit there and, and they go, well, it's an inevitable death, I may as well just sit here, and it's really easy to get kills that way. And of course, guys, we're using Stim, although you can tell in this gameplay I actually forgot I even had Stim for about the first five minutes, and I just realized here going, oh, I actually have Stim. Let's pop on over, jump into the Prime North Star, and get some kills. So for North Star, guys, I have been practicing quite a bit with North Star, and more so practicing on the aiming and when to do certain things. Also, the combo with Snare Trap into the cluster grenade and then jumping back with a full powered shot i have been practicing that so we're just going to go on a little rampage here hopefully punch all these pilots out the way they're just really sitting there waiting for us to come to them so we may as well rock on up and cause some damage and kill them while we can so hopefully the spawn is going to appear in that little doorway because all we need to do there is chuck in one little cluster and we'll be away laughing so guys, for the R101, other things I've been trying out is Threat Scope, and I think Threat Scope is really, really good. Probably my second most favorite sight on this weapon. If you're not a fan of the original ACOG scope, definitely try out Threat Scope. I have got a nasty gameplay where I believe we got about 18 or 19 pilot kills the first time using Threat Scope in honestly weeks, if not months. Threat Scope's not really my favorite attachment, but I find with the R101 it just goes really, really well. Now, if you pilots are sitting there wondering, hey, what's the difference between the R101 and the R201? Really, the stats are exactly the same. So the only difference for these weapons is the stock sights. So for the R201, you do have iron sights, but the default scope on the R101 is the ACOG sight. And I feel as though because I don't choose that type of sight on any other weapons, not even Devotion, that's probably why I found the R101 a lot more challenging at the start. And that's why I was coming last quite a lot. And until I unlocked the additional scopes, it was a struggle. But now we have the scopes, guys. We can finally get out there, farm up some kills, and enjoy the weapon for what it is. So, pilots, now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below what loadout you've been using with the R101, whether there's anything you'd change or whether you've given this a shot and you agree that it's pretty awesome. And also, what Titan are you guys using at the moment? Are you using Northstar because Prime's available? Are you using Legion again because Prime's available? Or are you trying out Scorch with the really overpowered Flame Shield? Let me know guys and I'll check out your comments below. So what we're going to do here is run around using the Thunderbolt. That's our favorite anti-Titan. Even with the nerf, I find I can be just as effective. Although right now, I don't have the feeling that, hey, it's actually overpowered. Originally, I, I knew from the get-go using the Thunderbolt, it was just too easy. It was too powerful, and you could cause a ton of damage without really trying. We're already at 20 kills, guys, so this is going to be quite an epic game we have ahead. But for the Thunderbolt, it has been nerfed. 
I do find that when the Titans cluster up, I've had a few games where you do get three or four Titans together, it's a lot easier that way to use the Thunderbolt because Titans, when they're sitting next to each other, they actually struggle to break up and then run away from the scene. So that way it's a lot easier for your Thunderbolt to just go in there, zap them all and cause a lot of damage. As you can see from that kill just there pilots, if you aren't aiming down the sights, make sure you do strafe left and right because you need to have some correction with your movement, if not your aim. So when you're aiming down the scope, just aim as you normally would. If you aren't aiming down the scope, definitely be strafing left or right or even both so that you dodge the oncoming bullets but also you land yours. There's been a lot of times there, pilots, where people have been running away, boosting around my screen, and I'm thinking, man, how am I ever going to kill them? They're literally flying across my screen. And a little bit of strafe work can really help your bullets land a lot more often. And look at this little cheeky legion here. Let's see what he's doing. Well, we, <laughs> we can't actually see because our legion's in the way. So this is what I was talking about before, pilots. When you do get a lot of titans in close vicinity, they really do struggle to move around and you can't really see much. So this guy has prime legion, but what we're going to do is show him the best execution with our prime north star. We'll show him how it's done, pilots. Jump on him, blow him up. Seven tenths, goodbye. There's only six tenths left now. Oh, that's a bad joke for today. And we're going to rock around with the North Star, more pilots, more titans getting in the way. Flying up in the sky, looking for our next target and cluster bombing where we think they're going to spawn. So pilots, what we're going to do now is hopefully find some more people who we can kill. Also, a little change for the Kraber sniper rifle. I just saw that Reaper and that reminded me to tell you pilots. With the Kraber, they actually increase the bullet penetration. So if you do shoot Reapers, you can... Oh, that's a sick slide there. If you do shoot Reapers, your bullet will actually go through them now. Originally, your bullets would not go through Reapers. They would hit it, and that would be the end of the Kraber bullet. Now, with the increased penetration just slightly, the bullet will actually go through the Reapers. So try that out, pilots. Getting another kill there. Dominating. Metal Spurdy out the way. Stuck in a gravity star, but that doesn't bother us. We're going to stim out, jump in our Titan. 24 kills on the scoreboard already. Let's see if we can get 25. Not sure if we can or not. We're very close to the final score. So what we're going to look for is see if we can get some Titan kills. We can see a Tone Salvo coin. Thankfully, it's our own. And there's a little Ronin down here actually giving us a, a bit of a hard time. So we're going to lay the trap down, snare him up. You can see him caught there. And he's crouching up and down trying to look all cool. So what we're going to do is use our core. Heading on over guys, we're now getting towards the end of the game. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have been enjoying the insane amounts of content. I think we've probably got the most detailed, if not the most amount of videos on this update. And I've still got plans for more things that we're going to do guys. We still need to check out the map. Still need to check out the 1v1 endings. And there's a lot more things, guys, so uppercut that pilot just to finish us off. And here we go, some more Thunderbolt action for you pilots out there. If you haven't used the Thunderbolt before the patch, definitely give it a shot now. With the increased damage output, you'd be crazy to use Charge Rifle. Absolutely crazy, pilots. Give this one a whirl. We're already Gen 10, Gen 11 at the point in time that we're making this video. Probably get Gen 20, I guess. So we're going to head on over, see what's cracking by the jump ship. And that's about it there, pilots. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys shortly. 196 for the score, 24 kills, 2 Titan kills, 52 minion kills. Okay, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty crazy. Stay away from the minions, bounty. Alrighty, guys. Catch you on the next video. Thanks again. Peace.